what it is guys this your boy king mike d games and first and foremost i want to tell you guys happy thanksgiving happy holidays um i know i've been mia for a while but i'm going to make it up today with this video have an amazing pickup video uh black friday sales as you guys probably i'm not sure if you've seen the preview it's like eight seconds i put up uh when i was at gameplay so i got a lot of good deals a lot of good games let's jump into it now the first thing i'm going to jump into is not game related but they had it for a dollar they had some door busters so uh paid a dollar a buck each for each one of these and the first one is a blu-ray dvd the last exorcism haven't seen it um i heard it was like okay i guess once you've seen them one all one you've seen them all i'm not sure you guys let me know if you guys seen this movie is it creepy or not i might uh watch this tonight let me know so it was a uh, buck one dollar brand spanking new and i don't know how good this might be because it, it is pg-13 what pg horror movie is good i don't know but nonetheless here it is the last exorcism next up i'm not big on pops but i got this davy jones pirates of the caribbean pop figure for one dollar so not bad at all um yeah i only have like what two pop three pop figures i have apollo creed i have clubber lang and i have uh ash from ash versus evil dead so this adds to my little uh, pop figure collection right here. Now, I'm going to jump into the games. Um, I'm going to start with, I got a few import games. I got four, four, oh, that's crazy. I got four, M, oh, let me stop. Four import games, of, uh, so four Japanese import games. Let's jump into the first one. It's for GameCube and it is right here. Now, I don't know what the heck this says, but I paid a dollar for it. So um, I have about, what, six import games now? Uh, GameCube import games? So happy to always get something different. Here it is. The Mobile Suits Gundam Pilots Locust. So it's a Gundam game. I haven't seen a Gundam uh, episode in years. Wow. So put that one right there. There we go. Next up, we have one I'm very excited about. Been wanting to get for a very long time. Very happy to have it in my collection. And that is Biohazard. And it is Japanese. Look at that. Very nice. It's complete. Everything is in there. Let me try to open this without dropping all these games. There's disc one. Disc two. There we go. Very nice. Very happy to have this in the collection right here. Now all I need is a Japanese PS1. Or Japanese PS2. Because I can play PS1 and PS2 uh, Japanese games. Or... I could just get me a Japanese PS3 that plays Japanese 1, 2, and 3 PlayStation games. Ah, okay. I'm going to be on the lookout for that one, too. There we go. Next up, we got a game called Blood the Last Vampire. This is also a Japanese game. I don't know what it's about. Um, if you guys know anything about this, you let me know. Let me know about this game if you know about it. And the last Japanese game I got is for Sega Dreamcast. It is called Nadesiko The Mission. I don't know what it's about. It also was a buck as well. So very happy to have uh, another import game to my Dreamcast. You guys already know I have one Japanese, well now two, but one other Japanese Dreamcast game, uh, Soul Calibur. So happy to have this as well. Now, I did a lot of buy two, get one free deals uh, today. So you guys know I cleaned house. So here we go. The first one I have for Xbox 360 is Stuntman Ignition. Now, I, if I'm not mistaken, they made three Stuntman different games, and I have all three. This will make part uh, three right here, Stuntman Ignition. I have a Stuntman for PS2, and I think there's another Stuntman game I have for another console. I'm not sure which one, but happy to have Stuntman. This game is really cool. If you guys have not played it and like a lot of adventure, most definitely pick this up. All right. Let's move along. Next up, we got Dishonored. Now, believe it or not, I've never played Dishonored. I do have it for Xbox One, and it is a definitive uh, edition. So I might want to give that game a spin. I heard this game was pretty cool, and I know Dishonored 2 is out. So uh, definitely want to ha have that game on my radar as well. There we go. Next up, I have Chrome Hounds. I don't know what this game is about. It's by Sega. Sega makes a lot of good like games that look like this, like a lot of mechanism games and uh, games like war type of stuff. Sega's always been pretty good. 
I like this. And you know what I seen today, guys? I seen an Ace Combat for 360. The whole thing complete. They wanted like a hundred dollars. I couldn't do it. I probably could have got it for cheaper, but I just wasn't on the market for it. So I kind of passed up on it. But nonetheless, Chrome Hounds, and it's only for 360, of course. Next up, I'm getting to the original Xbox collection. You guys know I'm big on that. First one I have is NARC. Now, I've not played this game, but I do have NARC for uh, the original NES. And it was it's a pretty cool game. It's okay. Uh, I've never played this one before. It looks pretty funny, actually. It looks interesting. Look how high his leg is. Who gets their leg about an angle like that? Look at how big his head is. I don't know what that is. But um, nonetheless, here's NARC. And it says Big Hit 1995 Friend Prices. I don't know what that's about. I don't know if it just cost that much when it first came out. If that's a little deal they had. I don't know. But there it is. Next up, a game that I probably should already have, but believe it or not, I don't. But I have part two of it. Is The Godfather the Game. Now, I have, like I said, part two. Part two was really fun. You're taking over the cities that you go to. And I really liked it. I was really looking for The Godfather The Dawn Edition. That game is going for a lot of money right now. And that's on my radar. So I'm looking for The Godfather uh, The Game The Dawn Edition. That I really want to get that. So happy to have Godfather Part 1 right here. Next up, I have Hunter the Reckoning. Um, I've never seen this game before. It kind of reminded me like of a, though this is why looking at it, a Devil May Cry. It's, it looks like a hack and slash type of game. If you guys have played this, let me know what you think about it. Kind of upset that it's not complete, but it only costs like $2 or something like that. Yeah, so I couldn't pass up on it, man. You guys know I'm trying to build that original Xbox collection up, and I'm going to do that. You know that. So let me... Stay right there. Ooh, look, I'm about to knock stuff over. Stay. All right. Next up, PS2. I have Men in Black Alien Escape. Now, I've never played a Men in Black game. I never even knew of them really having one. Uh, I don't know what to expect from this, but I know the last game I played with Will Smith, quote unquote, in it was Bad Boys 2. And if you guys played that game, you know those were not the voices of Martin Lawrence and Will Smith. They had some voiceovers that were terrible. The dialogue was terrible. I'm pretty sure Will Smith and Martin Lawrence wanted a lot of money just to have their voices in it, and that's why it didn't happen. It was a terrible game. So I don't know if Will Smith's voice is really in here, but uh, it'd be pretty funny to um, play. You'd probably see how it is. So Men in Black, Alien Escape, and this game is complete. Of course it is. Yes. There we go. Moving right along, we have Naruto Ultimate Ninja 2. You guys know I have a lot of Naruto games. I didn't have this one. Um, I heard this game was pretty cool. This one's like another like 2D um, fighter game type. Uh, very awesome, I heard. I heard this is a very awesome game. Very happy to have this. This game costs like five bucks, so you can't pass up on the Naruto games, man. You cannot. You can't pass them up. So there it is, Naruto. Next up, 24 the game. Now, I maybe watched one episode of 24 a long, long time ago. Don't know how good the TV show is. I heard it was amazing. I heard the new season is pretty uh, pretty cool and amazing. I know the guy who played Dr. Dre and Strata Compton plays like the new agent type of guy. Uh, I heard it was okay. Um, so if you guys watch 24, how's the show? You guys like it? Is the game cool? Don't know. This one's complete. It's pretty heavy. Ah, yeah, it's in there. We all, we all in there. Oh, man, messing up. Look at me. See? Unedited, guys. Next up, we're going into my three, uh, sorry, 360 Xbox One collection well, that I've gotten uh, today. And the first one is NHL 15. Believe it or not, this game was like four bucks and I didn't have it. So I'm trying to build up my uh, Xbox One collection. And I probably should have waited to do my updated version for my Xbox One and PS4 collection because I'm still buying games now. So, but that's okay. That's all right. We're still going into it. So, NHL 15. I have not played an NHL game in years, but it looks pretty cool. I might want to give this a spin and see how it is. I want to try this out. NHL 15. Next up, Madden 16. Another game that costs like five bucks. I didn't have it. I'm not. Everybody knows I'm not a Madden fan. I'm more of an NFL blitz arcade style type of football game. If I'm going to play it, uh, five bucks. So I couldn't pass up on it, man. I didn't have it. The graphics again uh, looks pretty amazing. Very happy to have it. Next up, we have a game that I had before, but it got stolen. Somebody stole it. Thief. Some thief stole my 
thief game. Actually, it's a true story. Somebody actually stole my thief game a couple years ago. But um, nonetheless, I got it back. This game cost two bucks. So very happy to rehab this back in my collection. Thief. Damn, Thief. Let me find out who stole it. I'm gonna find, I think I know. Next up, a game that I should have been had a long time ago, but I didn't. NBA 2K18. Uh, it's brand new. Um, now, I price checked this. Gameplay had a price check thing. If you can find it somewhere cheaper, you will get it for that price. And um, GameStop had it for $25. They wanted $29 for it, so I got it for the $25. Very happy to... Um, I like that gameplay does the price check thing. I think it's pretty awesome. And uh, yeah, and you guys see it is ready for the Xbox One X. So I can't wait to see how that's going to check out and how that's going to look. Next up, moving to the PS4. And I have Wolfenstein 2. I've heard great things about this game. Now, this game I also did a um, game check on from um, GameStop. They wanted 30 bucks for this at Gameplay. Uh, but GameStop was selling it for $25, so guess what? I got it for $25. So, very happy to have this. I heard this game looks amazing. I actually kind of seen somewhat of the uh, previews for it, and I really liked what i seen. So, very happy to have this in the collection as well. Um, you know what? I might go live and play this game one day. So, be on the lookout. Last but not least, a game that I am excited to play. I'm definitely going to show you guys this game when I play it. It is Road Rage. You guys remember that game Road Rash that came out for PS1? I think it came out for another older system where you're fighting and you're riding at the same time racing. Same concept, but just different name. And it looks pretty cool. I cannot wait to try this uh, out. So uh, in this video, yeah, as a matter of fact, you guys vote. Do you want to see Road Rage or you want to see Wolfenstein 2? What do you want to see me play next? You guys let me know and uh, I'll look in the comments and I will go based off what you guys say. So here it is, guys. My pickups for today black friday sale i did pretty good if i might say so myself what a way to come back i haven't did a pickup video in a very long time i think this puts me at 1029 games you guys know my goal was a thousand games for the end of the year so i hit my goal way over and the end of the year is not here yet we still got a uh next month so appreciate all the new subscribers i've been getting the comments i've been getting even though i've been gone it seems like when I'm gone, people miss me and they hit me up even more and I get a lot more comments. So appreciate the love and support, guys. Uh, make sure you smash that thumb on the like for this video. Uh, if you're not subscribed to me, subscribe to me. Check me out. Let me know what you think. Every time everybody comments, I always reply back pretty fairly quick. So have a happy Black Friday, guys. I hope everybody had a great Thanksgiving. Uh, I'm going to be doing a wrap up, year wrap up video be on the lookout for that as well. I'm going to be giving some shout outs to a few special people who've been following me. And I'm going to be doing some giveaways. I might give away what some of my pop figures. I might do that. I don't know. I might give, I'm going to give away something. So be on the lookout. Peace out. I love you guys. See you soon.